What's up, witches and wizards, muggles and nomadges? I am Animagus, and today I want to talk to you about the best free-to-play game that is currently out on the market, in my opinion. Of course, I'm biased because it is a Harry Potter game, but I want to talk to you about how you can get access. There are currently six days left in this beta period before the game servers will shut down, and they do a global launch, or you know they'll roll it out on the Western Hemisphere. It's already been live over in China, but it's a fantastic game, and I really cannot stress enough how fun it is it truly is a rewarding game so i'm going to tell you how you can get access to that right now you'll check out the screen here with me you can see that i am in the harry potter magic awaken discord this is how you can get to the apk pure files what you're going to need to do is download and install the apk pure store once you've done that only on your mobile device um is, is what my recommendation is currently because uh, there are just some issues with a few things, but we'll get into that in just a second. If you're on mobile and wanna play it, you can follow these instructions. I will leave all the links down below in the description for you guys to make sure you can get access to that. But what I wanna to talk to you about right now is how you can play it on PC or Mac. In this alternative channel, there are some other instructions that we're gonna go through step by step. I'm gonna show you exactly how it works exactly what you need to do and again all of those links for the step by step directions will be included in the description of this video so what you're going to want to do on your laptop or pc is go over to your web browser of choice and type in nox emulator once you hit nox emulator you'll be able to find the emulator all you got to do is click download and open those files as you go through the process and you'll pop up on your uh, little shortcut to your desktop. Once you get that open, it'll actually download two different files. As you can see on the left side of my screen, there is a multi instance and then just the emulator itself or a multi drive. So you can open the multi drive, click add emulator. I'm gonna actually just add another one right now, to show you what it looks like. And what's really cool about this is it's a lot like a virtual machine. If you know anything about computers, you're literally just adding another virtual machine to that. So here's the latest Android OS. That's gonna be the most helpful. It's gonna download Android 9 and the 64 bits, and it'll allow you to then go in and launch it by hitting the start button. Next part can happen one of two ways. You will either load into the home screen without being prompted for anything, which is fine, or you'll be prompted to log in with your Google or Gmail account, whichever account that it is you would like to be tied to this particular application or game is the information that you want to enter. So I'm going to go to SAI installer. That's going to be about the fourth option down split APKs installer. That's the one that you're looking for. So you want to go ahead and install that and you'll be able to see this pull up just like you were in a Google Play Store. Um, if you're familiar with that at all, and you can again track your downloads in the top left hand corner or do the little pull down feature here. So we want to obviously open that, ensure that it is installed appropriately. Now, the next part of this, you're going to open the Discord link or the link that is down below. And I'll again show you this quickly. We're going to use this link here. So right click, copy link minimize it and just like your phone you're going to go down to the bottom right here hit the home button you're going to browser you're going to hit control v in the browser window and it's going to copy the exact link that you need in order to get the file so you're here congratulations you made it this far it's not as tricky as you thought it was huh <laughs> i know that i was worried about this at first i wasn't sure exactly what the steps were going to be but it's super simple once you have a little bit of an explanation so again in the top left hand corner you can track the download or you can hold down the cursor just like it's an android phone and it's actually not cooperating with me right now but once it's downloaded it will show you in the download files and you can continue to track it here and we will be right back as soon as that's finished. Awesome, so our download is now complete and what you can do is just click off the screen. It will allow you to go back to home again in the bottom right corner. And what you're gonna wanna do is go to SAI, that thing that we installed way before. Install APKs because that is the file type that we just downloaded. So we're gonna click install 
And since we treated this exact phone or this instance like a phone and we downloaded it from the browser that was on the pretend phone, it lives on the pretend phone, which means it's internal. It's not a system file picker. It's not like an operating system type thing or an update. It is an internal file picker. So where do you go to see the downloads? Well, the download, of course. And because I've recorded this now a few different times trying to find the best way that I have explained it live, I'm going to go ahead and click on the APK. So you're going to select whichever one that you have. There should only be one option. I've just downloaded a few different ones at this point. Hit select, and what they're going to do is say invalid LOC header, bad signature. Or there may be another error. If that's the case, all you have to do is go right back to where you were in the browser and hit repair your download. Okay? That's not a big deal. That is the first error that I ran into. And all you have to do is click this little button and you're good to go. It will fix it for you because it will tell your files, hey, you're broken. I'm going to pull these other things in or I'm going to fix you so you can work properly. So that's fine. It's totally fine. All right. If that's not the case for you and you have no problems whatsoever picking the correct files, you can go and you can pick... Um, or for example, I'm gonna go ahead and pick a different thing and it's already pulled in the icon for me. As you can see, you can select what split APK parts to install. They are going to select it automatically for you so they can essentially guarantee a successful install. Then all you gotta do is click install and you can see that split APK's installer is working on our file. So it's gonna take a little bit of time because it is kind of a larger game. It's a big game and it's an incredible game, but it does take a minute. So unless you have fiber like I do, it's probably going to take some time and just be patient, you know, go for a walk, um, go, you know, polish your wand, whatever it is that you want to do. And uh, you'll be just in time to play and enjoy the game. Awesome. So we've obviously successfully installed. Do we want to install the application? Of course, that's the whole point of this video. Magic Awakened is installing. It's asked for its final permission. And the last thing that we have to do is again, unfortunately, wait just a little bit longer. And as soon as it's done, we will be rewarded with a beautiful icon right on the screen. Now, since a Magic Awakened has been installed, we can open it. We can enjoy the game. It's gonna run some uh, resources to unpack so you can have a smoother first experience. Make sure if you're using Nox again to indicate that top right hand corner because it'll allow you to go full screen and you will be able to behold the game in all of its beauty. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I know that I look like freaking Doc Brown from Back to the Future right now. My hair is everywhere. It's later than I had hoped it would be. I'm in an unfinished basement. It looks like I, I own this basement, okay? It's not even my mom's, but I appreciate you watching this video. If you like the content and you enjoy this game, let me know your favorite card down below. So far, I think mine is probably going to be uh, Thunderstorm. It's really overpowered, honestly, and in duo, it's fantastic. So I want to hear what your favorite card is. And of course, if you haven't already, I would really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button. I'm newer to this community, and I want to continue to make content for Harry Potter Magic Awakening because it's a freaking awesome game. Uh, you can join the community down below by following the links underneath all of the install links through Discord, Patreon, if that's your your speed, whatever it is, however it is that you want to get involved in this community, I would love to have you be a part of that. So definitely stop on by, tag me, say what's up. I would love to see your beautiful names in chat. So uh, again, I hope you have an awesome time in this game, and I hope this helped you out if you were just getting started. Let me know if it does, and I will see you in the next one. Until next time. Artless I.O.